everyone, welcome to the Diary of the Junior Fluid Collaboration Project. It is Thursday, so you get to see me, Esra. Um, this week's topic is coming out invisibility. Um, I don't really have much of a coming out story. My family is rather unsupportive of the community, so I am still closeted to them. Um, my friends, I did come out to a, about a last year, I think, at the towards the end of last year. Um, I didn't come out all at once. Um, it was just I told my best friend, and they were great about it. And so I just continued on and slowly told other people. And um, oh, I was freaking out one time when I was telling this guy who's basically like a brother to me, and he told me. Um, that I've got to stop worrying about what other people think about me and just be me. <laughs> I started crying when he told me that. And he's he's still in my life, and I hope he stays in my life. And then when I left my school, I had one of my friends tell everyone for me um, at the school. And at my new school, I haven't really come out to anyone at all. And so I, at this point, I'm more, I don't think I'm going to use... And when I really come out to people, like, very openly, I'm just going to be myself. And if people ask me, I'll tell them um, as long as they are seem to be supportive. And I'll, I'll, I'll really gladly explain to them what being gender fluid and being pansexual means, um, the definitions and such. Because not everyone understands what it is it's not the social norm it's not taught in health class it's not taught in school which is why i'm going on to my next point which is why visibility is so important i've said it once i've said it actually more than once and i'm going to say it again visibility is so important is because when kids are going up they and they know that they're different or they know that something is off then what they're taught to do what they are, what is expected of them, and are going through different platform, media platforms and trying to discover who they are. When they find, say, this YouTube channel or an online definition or an infograph that tells them the different meanings, and it's so important because they are able to go and realize that this is who they are, or it describes best of what who they are, and they are able to go. I'm normal. I'm not broken. I am a human being who is just happens to be a bit different than everyone else, but not too different. Um, and it's not even just with transgender people. Um, it's also with POCs, women, um, people of different sexualities, uh, people with disabilities, uh, Overweight women, um, I, I really shouldn't say overweight, but like more bigger women, um, so kids can really know that they, that even though they don't fit this, this one body type or this one type of person that's showed everywhere on TV, that's really real unrealistic because people are, it's like, people are so different, so... I think really the minor it's not really minority, but not many people make or fit that norm that's portrayed on TV or in video games or in series at all. And so just having people like Rose from Steven Universe, um, Hawkeye who's deaf, or or um, Daredevil who's blind, just things like that are so important. And so, um, that's really the, the video for this week. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please ask me in the comments below. Like, thumbs up, subscribe, tell me how I'm doing, tips. Um, and thank you guys for watching. Come back next Thursday to see me again.